school leaders across the country are still working out details on how and if children will return to classrooms this fall or will they learn remotely. Wonder Years actress and best-selling author Danica McKellar has written 10 books that aim to make math and STEM learning fun and engaging for kids of all ages. And now McKellar is out with a new book, The Times Machine, uh, aims to help teach second to fifth graders multiple, multiplication and division. I, can't, I, can't, I can't do it. I can't say it. Danica, you're going to have to help me with all of it. <laughs> she joins us now from Los Angeles. My pleasure. Thank you for getting up early uh, with us. So uh, right now, uh, we would be in what, what's called the summer slide. People forget things from the school year. Now on top of the summer slide, we've got the COVID slide. How do those slides, those yeah. gaps in, in our learning affect math in particular? Oh my goodness, it's been such a tough year for kids, especially math. See, math is different from other subjects because it's cumulative. So if there's one thing that you miss or you forget, it affects a lot of other areas as well. It's, it's extra tough, but look, I my whole goal is to make math as fun and silly and goofy and non-scary as possible for both kids and parents, because let's face it, in an unprecedented way, parents are responsible for their kids' education. I mean, it's it, it was just thrown on them. So many parents were saying, I, I don't know, how am I supposed to do this? I've got emails to answer, I've got a job, I've got to make dinner. <laughs> it's like, well, you know what? I'm so happy that this my, my 10th book, The Times Machine, is coming out now, because now my, my, my McKellar math books span all ages 0 to 16. So the I can say, span, yeah. I can help. I'm here to help. Yes, no, I'm, I'm just so thrilled. And what I'm really excited about for the Times Machine is that learning your multiplication facts is something that is boring and everybody has to do, but often gets overlooked, especially when there are holes in the education and there's not as much time. So I came up with a new way of teaching multiplication, yes, to make it fun. For example, six times seven. If you imagine, like it's eight equals 42, right? If you imagine a six-sided block of cheese and Mr. Mouse eats that every day for seven days, six times seven, a six-sided block of cheese times seven, he gets full and farty too. <laughs> that is true. And I, you can see, I'm glad we have a, uh, I'm glad we have a, a screenshot there of the book uh, because there's a, there's a little picture of you there in a comic book image. So there's like a paneled comic yes, book style to the whole yes. thing. How did you decide on that? Well, that's the whole point. Why not Why not teach math in the most fun, silly way possible with comics and cartoons and just time travel? Of course, the times machine, we have the time travel. I mean, we see the, we go to the dinosaurs, you know, we uh, we travel all over. And, and one thing I just want to say about parents trying to teach their kids math is it looks different now. It looks different from how it did when we grew up. There's all these other methods. There are all these new math vocabulary terms. Um, so in the back of this book and also Dinner Open This Math Book, which is for first and second graders, I have a new math translation guide for grownups in the back. <laughs> Very helpful indeed. You, they've they've, they've got to show their work, yeah. but your work was different 30 years ago. Uh, you know, you mentioned the, the learning exactly, from home. Exactly, exactly. Th th this book uh, is, is kind of a replacement for school, and you know something about trying to teach yeah. kids from home because you've been homeschooling your son, Draco, uh, from the beginning, anything you can share about how to get yeah. learning done in the home for all these parents trying it for the first time? Yeah, well, I will say I feel so grateful and lucky that I've been homeschooling him this whole time and it hasn't been a big transition. Also very grateful that I've, I've amassed a lot of tips and tricks and strategies for getting our kids to focus at home, getting them to, to have fun with it, and having the parents have fun with it too. I have, And I'll give you a couple tips now. Also, I've got all of them on my Instagram page. If you go to my uh, profile page, the little circles, the little highlights, click on learn at home or school at home mm -hmm. and you'll find a bunch. One of them is have your child teach something to one of its one of her uh, or his stuffed animals this works really well if draco's not focusing or if he's getting intimidated by something i'll bring up flappy his little seal that he loves I'm like we'll just what and i'll be i don't understand what's going what how, what is how does this work and he like lights up and like becomes a teacher it's amazing uh, i love that one so That's a i know good my one. rule is don't have any toys in the area it, yeah so no toys in the area unless if your child is explaining a concept to a toy uh, that... and another one is act it out yeah what well i was gonna say acting out would be anything a little bit easy for you when yeah. you're an actress but i uh, yeah i know i know <laughs> i know but um you know anything to get up and have it not feel as school yeah. um as possible totally works well, so anyway i'm so ha happy that i get to share tips with you guys and also uh through my math books making it all right. silly and fun and goofy and uh come to me for any of your questions on social media we'll find you on social media it's a book that's helpful for kids also for parents because times have changed they're doing math differently these days believe it or not danica mckeller thank you very much i appreciate you being on the thank times so machine much. is on sale right now